Breaking news, you guys. I don't know if you've heard, but there's an incident that happened down Viking Bar here in the last, what, two, 24 hours, I believe, 36 hours. Um, I guess the management of the Viking pushed it a little too far. We're going to go down to Watkins View. We're going to check in on what's happening. I think some people might have been deported because of all this. Guys, I don't know if you heard. Viking ship here, closed. Closed, was forced closed. It, uh, they pressed their luck. I guess the Korean thought that uh, Koreans kind of run the town and challenged the mayor. And the mayor ended up pulling the string and saying, you know what, You're, you, you, don't run the, you don't run the ship here. So you ended up forced closing it. That's why the doors are padlocked. And the Viking ship is no longer open. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of that. I think it happened last night. But you don't want to challenge the mayor. Ah, so here it was it made national news. Ah, so he's making fun of his therapist. That oh. the therapist. Oh, the therapist, what, across the street or somewhere? Yeah, yeah this one. Oh. He's making fun. Oh, yeah. That's, you cannot talk negatively about Filipinas or women here, or you can get in trouble. There's a law in place. Or else you, you'll get, you'll end up in it. Yeah, you'll end up in trouble like that? Yeah, because this so one... So you spoke, somebody spoke badly Because this one is a senator of the Philippines. Oh, does it, who? This, the owner of this, uh, Ad Rafi Tolfo. Yeah. He's the... He's the uh, senator of the Philippines, the number one senator of the Oh, Philippines. so he was bad mouthing the senator or the girls, the therapists? No, the girls. That's okay. why if somebody wants to, uh, let's call that, to, to say something about if they get abused or something, yeah. they will ask help for this senator yeah, okay. and then they will take action. So they went right to the senator. Yeah. The senator and the mayor action. probably got together yeah. and they pulled the trigger on it. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, that's a law, and somebody pushed the law. Mm. All right, it sounds like the Korean overstepped his bounds. He wanted to check the the, the legal documents for the therapist place. Yeah. Right. So then he requested to see some what their IDs his name and stuff. Is Kim Taewon. Yeah. He actually he actually laid his hands on a couple of the people that work at the therapy place. That's why the title of this uh, this uh, this content is uh, the Korean thinks he own Angeles. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah. Ah, so you guys hear it right here. We're kind of re rehashing. We're reacting to this newscast that was nationally nationally heard here. Crazy. That's just this is you don't want to mess with the mayor or the Angeles police. Even the girls. And the brung guys. The girls. You really have to be respectful of the girls. Yeah. Like some of the vloggers talking negatively about the girls around town here could really get in trouble if they yeah. don't be careful they about what they say about girls. Yeah. So if you're a vlogger and you're talking about say Anne and you say doing something negatively about Anne. We could go to the Barangay captains or the police and we could say, hey, somebody's talking disrespectfully about my girlfriend and then they can come after you. So this is a case yeah, in point where a Korean disrespected a Filipina uh, and actually laid his hands on and yeah. overstepped his bounds and now, that his, now his bar is closed down and he's probably in jail. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like if you guys remember when I had that interview with the mayor, he was telling me a story about a couple of people here that had relations with minors and they were in jail and it was recent apprehensions. And when they were in jail, the countries of origin where they had come from were, let, were made aware and they were gonna get extradited. Well, they never got extradited because the country of origin said, let them rot in that jail cell. They opted not to extradite their foreign nationals that are here in the Philippines because of what they did. You don't want to push your bounds here, believe me. 
us as tourists, us foreigners, need to respect this country. So he even talked to one of the police officer in, in the station for. Okay. This went to the police in station four. Yeah. Wow. It's not the owner of the Viking. It's one of the managers yeah, one of that the had managers. done this. We're getting this right. We want to make sure that we get this story right for you guys. It's not the owner of the Viking. It was a manager who was a Korean who does not like lady boys or, again, overstepped his bounds. So this is the senator? This is the yeah, senator, yeah. right? Okay, so he's telling the police captain to make action. Yeah. No hesitation. Because, we yeah, need to make action yeah, now. Action. Yeah, immediately. Because, because this there's is a the, lot of people who complain already. And... Well, okay, okay. He was harassing the uh, the staff of the, the massage place. Ah. Okay, what'd you get? Absolutely. Okay, we're, oh, look at my salad's coming. Okay, what? She went to the police station twice? Twice, but the first complaint, they didn't take action. The second complaint, I don't know. Okay, okay. Right. Sir wants to settle in the barangay first. Mm, crazy. Yeah. All right, everything that I've told you is kind of an uh, alleged as to what had happened. We were listening to it as we were there at Vention trying to get some meals. Um, Anne is probably going to do a vlog on this as well, and she will be able to clarify it better because this whole interview with Pogi and the senator or whoever this gentleman is and the girls that were affected uh, is in Tagalog. So I didn't understand as much. I just wanted to get you the story as quick as possible. Again, it is just the alleged information that I have given you or will give you after this. Um, so tune to Ask channel for a better clarification as to what really happened. <laughs> is it? Oh, it looks like a witch's brew with a little foot of crow and beak of chicken <laughs> and feather of Shrek or something. <laughs> yeah, you guys, I don't know. Stick your finger in there, see what happens. Jelly. Jelly? Is that what I saw the container over there? Ah. Then what do you do with this? Dump it in there? Oh, then you cut it up into little squares? Oh, so this is pre. Pre cubes, you guys. Pre cube. There's cubes right there. Ah. Now I gotta figure it out. Show my. First, we gotta do our show myers, everybody. It's really good stuff. I mean, I, I don't mind show my. Ah. Mm -hmm. What time? Pork? Chicken. Oh. I like the beef. I like this. I like this sauce. She. <clears throat> it's like soy sauce. Thank you very much.